today I'm gonna to show you something that may be a little disturbing. So kids, advert your eyes, but today we're gonna to look at my kitchen floors. So looking at these floors, you can see exactly how dirty they are. After a long day of work, um, both my wife and I working and being busy, just didn't have time to even sweep the floor or mop the floor. You can see all kinds of crumbs and baby food and wrappers all over the floor. And so today we're gonna to check out the Pro Scenic 811 GB robot vacuum cleaner and see if it has what it takes to get this floor clean. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Pro Scenic 811 GB. Now a huge shout out to Pro Scenic for sending this to me so I can test it out for you guys. Now this is a robot vacuum that will work on hardwood floors as well as carpets, and it has an attachment so that it can be a mop as well, which is what I was really excited about. Now this does currently cost $229, so you can compare that with other vacuums in the same price range, and it does have Amazon Alexa support. So inside the box here, we have the Pro Scenic Vacuum, which it weighs about nine pounds, and it is about five inches tall. So depending on um, maybe your chairs or what you would need, that would, could go underneath them. Here we have the docking station and the charging cable. And then here you have the mop accessory. So this has a catch base for dust and it can mop as well. And then here it comes with an extra HEPA filter. And then here you have the remote that you can control everything with. You can also use the application. And then here you have a magnetic boundary marker. So this is about three feet long and you can have it stop from going into a room or going say down a hall. And then last you have a little brush here to brush off the device. One thing that I've noticed about these robot vacuums is they get very dirty. Just the entire device, the top, the bottom, the sides, everything. So it's nice to have that brush to clean it off. So that's all that's inside the box. Getting this set up was super easy. You just plug it in. I think it recommends that you charge it for like 12 hours the first time that you plug it in. And then after that, it only takes a couple of hours after that. So once it's all charged up, you can then have it start vacuuming. Now there is a switch on the side here where you can do a hard power on and off. So if that's off, it won't go at all. And then on the top, you have one touch little power button where you can quickly turn it on and turn it off. And then here you have a Wi-Fi symbol, so it will let you know if it is connected to the Wi-Fi. So once I had it charged up, I then connected it to Wi-Fi. At first, I did have a bit of a struggle. I'm not sure why it just wouldn't connect but I tried again and then I had no issues. And after I was able to do that, I was able to manually start it, turn it off, as well as change the direction that the robot was going so I could manually control it. And then you could set a different schedule. So if I wanted this to go off every night, I could easily do that right within the application. Now the application will also tell you how much battery life it has. So you can quickly see when it will start recharging or you can just select the button and it will begin recharging right from there. Now for my first test, I did this on the hardwood floor and it worked really great. We had tons of crumbs and all kinds of things on the floor from the kids and this was able to go around and pick up every single piece of dirt on the floor pretty much. There were in the very small crevices, it wasn't able to get some of that, but I'm really impressed with what it was able to pick up. When the battery is low or you select to recharge, it will automatically find the charging station and dock itself so that it can recharge. I was very impressed with how it could find the docking station and went right back to it and loaded right up, which was pretty fun to see. Now let's take a look at what was in the dust dispenser and there is quite a bit of stuff in here. Now I have had a few questions about these robot vacuums and if they're good at picking up hair or moving things aside. Um, first, let's talk about the hair. So I have four girls in the house and all with long hair. And so this actually does a good job in picking up all those little strands that are just around. And I'm very happy that it's been able to do that 
but it does get stuck in the brush. So you do need to constantly clean the brush or it just won't perform as well. I didn't find any of the hair down here in the little tray, but it was picked up in the brush and it was easy to clean out. Now, it is a good idea to clean up your entire room before you use one of these vacuums. Uh, if you have dolls laying around with hair, it could get stuck on one of those. Maybe it doesn't move uh, when it's going close to one of those. So make sure you clean up your room, do a quick pickup, and then this will be able to go seamlessly through your house. Now this does have a bunch of sensors on it, so if it gets to the edge of a floor, it won't fall down the stairs. So that worked really well um, when I tested that, as well as it has this bumper, so when it bumps into something, it will then turn the other way. And this doesn't have any mapping or tracking like that. It will just go back and forth in the room and kinda do its own little random cleaning, but I found that it was able to clean up the entire room. Now it will also do an edge detection, so it can go around the perimeter of your room to get that as well, and I really liked how that worked. Now recently I did review another robot vacuum by Dbot. Now a quick comparison, something I liked on that one more than this was that when it would come up to an edge, it would stop because it had enough sensors to detect that something was in the way and it would turn. Where this, I felt like it was a little bit louder because it would bump into the side and then it would turn. So you hear a lot of bumping, not too crazy, but just something I did notice about the differences between the two devices. Now testing this out with Alexa, it worked no problem. Uh, it is a little interesting. The words that you need to say, you need to say, ask CleanBot to start cleaning. So once you have set up the skill in the Amazon application, then you are able to do that. So you can ask it to start cleaning, to start charging, or have it to spot clean, or all those, you can do that right from the Alexa skill. Alexa, ask CleanBot to start cleaning. CleanBot starting. Running this on carpet as well as hardwood floor had no issues. It really was able to pick up a lot. You do need to make sure that you empty the tray every single time that it is used just to make sure that it doesn't get filled up too much, but it was able to pick up crackers and all kinds of things with no issues. Now moving on to one of my favorite features about this robot vacuum, which was the mop function. So it comes with this water tank, so you easily fill that up, and then you have this little attachment that you add that allows it to be a vacuum at the same time as well. So it'll pick up any crumbs that you left. And then you take the little mop pad and you Velcro that to the bottom of the device. And now once you plug this in, you just remove the existing dust tray and then you place this in and now you're ready to go. Now, when I did first get this, I did have an issue with it dispensing water. So I reached back out to ProScenic, they sent me a brand new container and I had no issues. But one of the things I think it might've been is here on the inside is there are some little metal clips and it needs to touch on both sides to be able to tell it to produce how much water. And so I did pull these up and then with the new one, I had no problems. I did go back and test the first one, it didn't work, so there must have been some issue, but once I had it all working, it was really awesome. I really love how when it is going along the floor, you see the trail of water behind it. It's very satisfying, and you can see where it has been and kind of goes around until the floor is completely clean. Now, after it did a, about an hour and a half of cleaning, the water tank was empty, so I just refilled it up, and then had it do more cleaning. I ended up breaking my room into sections so it could get each room very clean. And when it was done, these mop pads look pretty dark. Now I did just throw these in the wash and they cleaned up really well, but I'm really happy with the result. There were a few spots that it wasn't quite able to get, but I was able to grab the remote and just to finish cleaning up, have it just go over by pushing back and forward or having it spin around. And it was actually able to get some pretty nasty things off the floor, which I'm really excited about. Of course, I could have just grabbed a rag and wiped it off, but this can do the job if maybe you are not able to bend down and clean the floor. This will certainly help you out. So one last thing you can do here in the application is change the amount of water that is dispensed. So here, if I just select the operation, and here I have water tank control, I can do low, 
normal and high. And during this video, I just had it set on normal and it seemed to work really well. One of the issues I did have with the D-Bot was being able to go over a rug and it worked on fine or thin haired carpet where this one, I did have no problem with it going onto my rug and doing a vacuum up there and then going back onto the hardwood floor. It has some pretty beefy wheels here on the bottom so it's able to jump up with no problem. So that's one of the benefits of this over the D-Bot. So I'm very impressed with what this vacuum can do and it has been very nice. Our house has never been cleaner since having these robot vacuums in our house. I also like that it came with extras for the vacuum, that it came with some extra little brushes that you have and the HEPA filter as well. That was very convenient. Uh, on the D-Bot, I do like that it has a little attachment that you can actually cut the hair that gets stuck on the brush, where this is just a brush to clean off the device. So if you're in the market for a robot vacuum, this one is definitely worth checking out, especially if you need the hardwood floors, the carpet, as well as the mop and functionality. If you guys have any further questions about the ProScenic vacuum, let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Make sure you check out the other video about the other robot vacuums over here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.